right, thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Communion Sunday. So this is when I provide information on different ways for you to improve your health and some tips and tricks and stuff like that. So today, I realized that like, this is called TTV, and I never talked about how to prepare tea, just plain regular tea. Of course, it's me, so it's not plain regular tea. You know, I got different special special blends of stuff that I want to show and go over with you guys. So let's get, get started. Um, before we do, though, if you um, get anything out of this content, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you get something, that means other people will as well. So let's get into it. So you have different kinds of tea. So there's a loose tea like this. And I'll open this up so you can see it. So this is called loose tea when it's in this raw form. Then you have your packaged tea that looks like this and comes in these bags. Like so. So this is a packaged tea, pre-made, this is packaged pre-made tea. Okay? Then you have your herbs where you make it up yourself. So like these like these leaves. This is actually some chickweed. Okay? as well as roots like this is some burdock root and then some dried berries like this hawthorn berries okay so there are different ways in which to go about heating this up and a lot of times you will find um, where it'll tell you on the package sometimes like this one doesn't tell you but it'll tell you the temperature the water needs to be at in order to properly seep the tea to where you're not destroying the actual leaves or destroying the actual tea itself so you can reap all the benefits that you're trying to get out of it. So I wanted to just give a quick overview. So basically for the most part, for especially for your packaged teas, you never want to boil the water. When you boil the water, you take the oxygen out of it and it changes the, the taste and the consistency of the water and you can kill off a lot of the, the benefits that are in the tea. So never boil the water. You just want to get it warm. You might see some bubbles in it, but outside of that, that's where you stop. Take it off the heat, turn it off, whatever you have to do, and put it in a cup and start seeping your tea. Okay, so that's for your normal tea, tea, leaves, um, tea packages like this. Um, it's the same thing for your leaves. So if you have leaves, like fresh leaves, like this chickweed, it's the same thing. You don't want to boil the water. You just want to get it hot. Okay? And as soon as it's warm, put your leaves in there and let them seep. Now, with some of the other ones, when you have your um, harder herbs, like this is licorice tea. So this is some licorice root. Okay? So this is a little on the harder side. With your roots, you do need to simmer them. Okay, it doesn't have to be a hard boil where you're boiling the mess out of it. Okay, <laughs> you just need to bring it up to a boil so on like a medium um, heat and let it boil and let it do that for let it sit there and simmer because not a boil, so simmer. Let it sit there and simmer for about 10 15 minutes and then turn it off. 10 minutes is really good, but let it sit there and simmer and then turn it off and let it seep. Okay, and then once it cools down, then you can add other stuff to it like your leaves or even a tea bag if you're mixing it up like that. So that's how you treat your, your, um, your roots. So something like if I was going to do the burdock root and this hawthorn root and maybe some licorice and this tea bag, if I was going to mix all this stuff up together, what I would do is in my pot, I would have my water and I would get it to simmering. Once it starts to simmer, I will put these roots. So I'll put the licorice root in there. I will put the burdock root in there. And I will put the hawthorn berries in there and let them simmer. I will simmer them for 10, 15 minutes, okay? Once it's finished simmering, I will take it off the heat, turn it off, take it off the heat. And then I would add my chickweed. Or I would add, um, I don't even know what tea, tea this is. Oh, so this is a green tea. So these are leaves. Y'all, I got so much tea. I could probably drink two cups of tea, maybe even three cups of tea every year, every day, for probably about four or five years and still have enough tea. Still have some tea left. But see, these. this is green tea. Okay? You saw that fall? Try it again. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Yep, so this is a leaf. This is also I will put in at that time once the roots have boiled. 
But when it comes down to your regular tea, a lot of times when people say, oh, the tea is bitter, the tea has this funny taste to it, the water was probably, first of all, <laughs> the water was probably nasty to begin with, but the water was probably boiled, okay? And they probably boiled the mess out of the bag too. So it's not necessarily necessary to do that when you're dealing with the bags or when you're doing, dealing with leaf tea. You can just let it sit, you can just well, warm up the water and let it seep. And then with your roots and your harder um, dried out berries and things like that, those you want to simmer. So ginger root, if you have some fresh ginger root, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to simmer it or are you just going to seep it? You're going to simmer it because it is a root. Same thing with turmeric, it's a root. You know, there's a tea that I make um, when, when I don't feel good and when my kids weren't feeling good, I would make it for them as well. Um, where I cut up some ginger root, some lemon, I would add lemon honey, and a touch of cayenne pepper. And then sometimes turmeric too if I had it. And the way I would do it is I would cut up the ginger root and the turmeric. I would put that in a pot, let it simmer, cut it off. Once it the temperature comes down to where it's drinkable, I add the honey and the lemon. Out the kitchen. Good girl. I would add the lemon and the honey. And then that would be what I would end the cayenne pepper. And that would be when they would drink it. So it's a process to it. So like I said, if you're using roots and you're mixing stuff up, you're trying to do your own blend, first of all, good job with that. But secondly, just know what it is that you're doing so you can separate it out. Um, if you're going to do it to where you have all of it together, get you a little coffee grind grinder. And then you can grind the roots up. You can grind the dry berries up. And so they can seep in there the same way as the leaves. And that way you wouldn't have to separate it if you're going to make a container of it for yourself. So the other important thing, good, because this, this is one the, the very first important thing when it comes to making good tea, is the water. Don't use tap water, people. Okay, I don't, I don't know how else to say this. Don't, don't use tap water. Tap water has so many chemicals in it. I'm going to tell you like this. When they go to clean the pipes to, so that they can make sure everything is going through and there's no clogs and backage and, you know, the, the algae and stuff that builds up in it. When they go to clean those pipes, those water pipes, how, how do you think they clean them? They put chemicals in the water to clean the pipes. Where does that water go that they clean the pipes with? <laughs> to your faucet. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there and let you ponder on that one. But yeah, start with some good water, <laughs> okay? Start with some good water. So you can use um, distilled water. Y'all know I love distilled water. That's, that's really all I do. I did a whole video on that. Um, but you can also use the spring water if, if that's your choice, if that's what you use. Or you can, whatever water you got, just, just not tap water, people. At least filter it. Get you a filter and filter it so you can get some chemicals out. Um, but not just straight tap water. Like I said, some filter water, purified water, distilled water, spring water, whatever kind of water you want, just not tap, okay? Because that's going to give you a nasty taste as well. Okay, so I was putting stuff up and then I realized I didn't talk about this. I had this stuff out here for a reason. So when you're making loose tea, these are filters, okay? So like this one, you can put it in here. It has the little holes. There was actually a cup to this. You see those holes? Um, it was actually a cup to this that I couldn't find, but it was a glass cup that I got one um, at Tivania, but I can't, I don't, I don't know what happened. It probably got broken. Um, and then this little thing right here, let me get a cup. I'll demonstrate it. So I got me a cup and you pour water. I know I said no tap water, but this is for demonstration purposes only. So this is one where you can fill it up with water. And they have, they have different ones of these. This is one I got from Tivania, but I've also seen them on Amazon. But you fill the cup up with water, your tea will seep in here. So you would have your loose tea in here. You will pour your, um, your hot water in here. And then you will set it on top like that. And you see how it drains out? And then that's how you would do it. And this is for loose tea. So this would be like for your, your loose stuff. Okay? Same thing with this. And then there's another one, too, that you can use and put in your um, cups. So, like, um, I have a few of them to show you different ones. Sorry, I was trying to find the little cute 
It was a cute little one a friend of mine bought that you can hang on the side of the cup to help. But like this one, this is a scoop with the little holes in it. So you would scoop out the tea that you want. Here, let me demonstrate. You would scoop out the tea that you want. So let's say this was just loose tea, not necessarily just one single herb, but some loose tea. You would take it. You would take it in there, scoop it. And then now you have your tea. Or you don't. <laughs> yeah, now you have your tea in the um, strainer. And then this itself will go into the cup to see. Same thing with this right here. You will put, you will um, unscrew it, put your herbs in there. You see how the holes or stuff are in there? Screw it up back together. Put it in your cup. And this one actually has a little hook on it. Can you see that? Let me put it in front of my shirt. There you go. A little hook in it. And then you can just hook it on the side of your cup. Like so. And then your tea will seep. So these are some ways that you can um, actually seep the tea and prepare it. So that it's ready for you with your water. So back to the back to the original video. All right, so that's that's my talk on tea, <laughs> okay? So next time you go to go do your cup of tea, be mindful of how you treat your water um, before you put your tea bags in there because it will um, determine the outcome of how that tea comes out. So I love you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>